So here we have the Renault Traffic on a 19 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the van and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of it from there. From the outside though, you can see it's got alloy wheels. We're going to start off inside the storage in the rear of the van first of all. As we approach the back of it, you can see we have reversing sensors. It's all been ply lined as well. We have that sliding side door access and a full metal bulkhead as you can see. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the van and then we'll hop in and run through some controls. You can see the sliding side door access there. Uh, let's hop inside and we'll run through those controls now. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that now. Okay, now that we're inside the van, we're going to start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the digital readout for the speedometer in the center, above which you can see the total mass of the van. They are 61,788. We then have the fuel gauge over on that right-hand side. You can change the information displayed at the top there by using a button on the end of the indicator stalk for various bits of trip computer and fuel economy information. We then have controls for your cruise control and phone here. You won't be able to use the phone controls until you pair the phone up and that is done by hitting the phone icon and following the instructions that come up on screen from there. You can also see that this vehicle um, has got the ability to listen to your own music firstly. Uh, in order to do that, you need to connect up either USB or auxiliary input or once you paired your phone, you can stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. We have, of course, got the radio as well. And this car's got, or this van has got, DAB, AM and FM, as you can see. It's also got satellite navigation. Uh, it's a lovely clear color display. Very, very easy system to use, but you can see there for yourself the display. Uh, above the stereo, we can turn the whole system off. We have the volume for uh, the whole thing as well. And as I mentioned there, the USB and auxiliary inputs. Below the screen, we then have air conditioning. So you can determine the direction the air is being distributed in, the fan speed, and the temperature, of course. The air conditioning is on at the minute, so that's off, back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the van. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you've set just here. We have a 12 volt charging socket on the left. Deadlock, so you can lock the van doors. We have hazard warning lights as well and then a six-speed manual gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see this van for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to give us a call here at Mac One Cars. We'd love to hear from you soon.